Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to install Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Software. So you can, if not installed, uh, you can just install it from Google. You can just go to Google and then you can go to Intel website and you can install the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. You can download it, install it. And once installed, you can launch it. And once you launch it, you can go to this, uh, uh, you can lower down this performance score ratio to like maybe 55, 54 or 53. So if it is set to 57 or 58, you can lower it down to 55x, 54x or 53x. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So lower down performance score ratio, apply the settings and then check. If that does not work, uh, you can even try power saver in power options so you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here you will see balanced high performance of power saver so in my case it's not there so if you have this uh, power saver option like this so you can select power saver and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try high performance you can even go for balance and check which one which one is working fine for you now the next step is to disable steam overlay now this has also worked for many players so you can make a right click on the game go to properties and turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game so turn this off now launch the game and then check if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings and then turn off overlay now if you have nvidia app running you can open nvidia app and then go to settings and turn off nvidia overlay so or you can Turn off all the overlay or you can even close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, you can set it to default and then you can close all the overclocking application like you can, you know, if you have MSI, Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, you can close it and then launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. Now this has also worked for many players. So you can go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. Whichever computer you have, go to system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab. In the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Once you type in, now you can close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can make a right click once again, go to properties. This time you can just type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to disable or enable the steam input now this has also worked for many players so you can make a right click on the game go to properties and then over here go to the controller tab and then select the option which says disable steam input and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even enable steam input and check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete 
Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users, uh, you can uninstall the current graphic card driver, then go to AMD uh, then restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, go to graphic settings, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game installed in this location. So you can go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and check for game exe file so here you can see the game exe file you can select the game exe file click on add and once the game is added you can find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game and then over here you can see gp preference set it to high performance and then you can launch the game again uh, go to add desktop app once again and this time you can select this retail one and then you can click on add again scroll down and find the game exe file in the list and then click on the game select high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to roll back graphics driver. So I'm showing for NVIDIA. You can, if the current, the latest one is not working, then you, you can just install the roll back graphics card driver. So you can go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card once again, select the right operating system and then go and find. And then scroll down and then click on view more versions so right now the latest graphic card driver is 576.52 so maybe you can install this 576.40 or maybe 576.02 for few players uh, this has worked you can scroll down 566.36 this has also worked for many players so you can click on view and then you can download it but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer restart is a must and then launch the game next step is to run uh, yeah run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select profit i'm sorry select manage now click on browse local files now open the root folder bin folder ec and then select the game exe file Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box faces. Now, before you run this as an administrator, make a double click, try to launch the game from here. If that does not work, then go to properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on the box faces, run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, then go to properties once again, and this time you can select, put a check over here, select Windows 8. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can put a check on disable. And so select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, do the same thing with this exe file and then check. Still not working in that case. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step now the next step is to next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security and then go to windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and select the game exe file and then click on open Again, click on add and allowed app, browser apps. In this time, you can select this exe file. Click on open. Now, now you can open control panel. And then 
go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow the app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add again click on allow another app click on browse and then you can select this exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working now this time uh, you can just make a right click on the start menu go to task manager and find epic games services so if you find over here epic game services or epic games launcher open so when you open so in my case there is no epic game services running so if you have like any epic services running over here you can just close it so just make a right click on all the epic game services if you find the launcher or anything uh, you can close epic games launcher if it is running and then you can check so close all the epic games and then you can check if that does not work update epic games launcher so if you have epic games launcher running you can uh, at the top right you will see your profile icon uh, you can click on the profile icon and then you can go to settings and then you can if you see update option you can click on update over here and after the update uh, you can check now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the save game files but when you re rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can create a backup first so to rename the save game files you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder open the saber folder here you can see the game folder you can create a backup first so you can copy this folder maybe paste it to the desktop once you have you have a backup created now you can make a right click on the game folder over here and then you can rename it whatever you want and then once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files you have to install this x86 and x64 version so download this x86 and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install now download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option again you click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both the files are installed once installed restart is a must so restart you can be right after this so after the system restart now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive 
Now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to Unplug all the external devices. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, like if you're using HOTA, HOTAs and wheel, then you can keep it plugged in. But if you're not using, then you can just unplug it. Now, if you have any kind of extra, like any USB adapter connected, which you're not using, you can disconnect it, disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Sometimes you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make or active on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete your game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.